More secret documents about the detainees at Guantanamo Bay Prison reveal new information about some of the men that the U.S. believes to be terrorists. Military detainee assessments were made public Sunday night by several U.S. and European newspapers after the WikiLeaks website obtained the files. The publication includes details of more than 700 interrogations and evidence the U.S. had collected against suspected terrorists. Guantanamo is like a picture that's out of focus, and I think the release of these documents add a few more pixels and a little clearer picture of Guantanamo. I mean, the release of classified information we condemn <coughs> in the strongest possible terms. And we, uh, we think it's unfortunate that the New York Times and others uh, news organizations have made the decision to publish numerous documents obtained illegally. Any assessments show certain inmates were more dangerous than previously known to the public, and that information could complicate efforts to transfer them out of the controversial prison that President Barack Obama once vowed to close. These latest disclosures about Guantanamo Bay are likely to give human rights activists more reason to argue that some cases against the detainees appear to be based on flawed evidence. I think in the public's mind they still picture the dog cages that were Camp X-ray and the detainees kneeling down in front of it and they remember Secretary Rumsfeld saying these men are the worst of the worst and General Meyer saying you know, they were the kind of people that would chew through the hydraulic lines on the airplane to kill Americans. And then when you peel the onion back and you get these documents and you look at it, in some cases that was probably an accurate description but far more times than not uh, these were people that were in the wrong place at the wrong time. The files are also said to provide insight into some of the most notorious detainees' charges and quirks. According to the New York Times, the latest WikiLeaks documents show Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the alleged mastermind of the 9-11 attacks, commanded a Maryland resident to kill Pakistan's former president. The newspaper, citing WikiLeaks, says another high-profile detainee linked to the USS coal bombing was so consumed with jihad that he took injections to make him impotent so that he wouldn't be distracted by women. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.